It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere, and the bots we're looking at this week love it. These are the basics on the many Transformers who have shared the name Sandstorm. The original Sandstorm toy was first released in 1986. The figure was a triple changer, a kind of Transformer with three separate modes, robot and two vehicle modes. In Sandstorm's case, a dune buggy and a rescue helicopter. A profile for Sandstorm was written by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, which characterised him as a risk-taking Autobot action junkie who lived life on the edge. A reconnaissance specialist, he loved the thrill of getting as close to a target as possible, then escaping at the last minute, living up to his name by using his alt modes to whip up clouds of dust and sand to cover his getaway. To Sandstorm, if something wasn't dangerous, it was boring. The only thing he really feared was the possibility that the war, with all its danger and excitement, might one day come to an end. Now, this personality didn't really factor into Sandstorm's appearances in the original Transformers animated series. Introduced in the show's third season, he came from a colony on the planet Paradron, founded by pacifist Transformers who had long ago fled Cybertron to escape the war. When the Decepticons invaded Paradron to plunder its energy, only Sandstorm was brave enough to stand up to the villains, returning to Cybertron to recruit the Autobots' help. Though sadly, the only way for them to keep Paradron out of Decepticon hands was to destroy the planet. Sandstorm appeared in only three episodes of the series, including another spotlight adventure in which he befriended the rogue Decepticon Octane and helped protect him when the other Decepticons came hunting for him. But he would show up a few times in the 1987 Japanese original sequel series, The Headmasters. Sandstorm didn't appear in the Marvel comic book published in the United States, outside of a few background cameos that were probably artistic errors. This left him open to feature in the exclusive stories written for the United Kingdom's version of the series, which leaned more into the idea of him as a bot who lived a life of action and danger by depicting him as a member of the hard-hitting Autobot commando unit, the Wreckers. After several missions on Cybertron, Sandstorm was sent to Earth alongside Broadside and Inferno to gather intel about the planet that could help the Wreckers in future missions there. The trio had a few misadventures on the planet, notably tussling with a pyromaniac alien firebug. But the discontinuation of Sandstorm's toy in 1988 soon led to him being killed off, blown to bits by Galvatron. His toy was re-released in Europe and Australasia in 1991, but this didn't lead to him being revived to feature in any new stories. In the years since the end of the original series, the name Sandstorm has been frequently reused on a variety of new characters, often unrelated to the original. This is usually done as a way for Hasbro to maintain their trademark on the name by keeping it active, but the first such new character was actually created for the 1992 Japanese line Operation Combination. This Sandstorm was a Decepticon, a recolor of the Combaticon tank Brawl, who combined with his teammates to form the giant robot Battle Gaia. A second Decepticon Sandstorm was designed for 1993's Generation 2 toy line, this one a desert-themed recolor of jet fighter Ramjet, but it was never released. However, a figure of this Sandstorm would eventually see the light of day in 2020 as part of the Generation Selects line, recolored from the Transformers Earthrise Ramjet toy. 1997's Machine Wars toy line featured a Sandstorm who was a recolor of attack helicopter Autobot Rotorstorm. At the time, the figure was marketed as a new version of the original Sandstorm. However, in 2013, a second toy of the Machine Wars character was released exclusively at the official Transformers convention, BotCon. This one a recolor of Dark of the Moon Skyhammer, which retconned him into actually being a clone of the original. Created by the Decepticon Geaxis, he was a sleeper agent who had secretly taken Sandstorm's place among the Autobots. 
A Beast Wars incarnation of Sandstorm was released through Botcon in 1999. This one a recolour of the Predacon Scorpion, Scorponok. He was advertised as a courageous, quick-thinking Predacon Covert Operations Commander, leader of a resistance on a future Cybertron that had been conquered by Shockeract, a Predacon who had acquired the power of the Dark God Unicron. But convention-exclusive stories revealed that Sandstorm was a false identity. His real name was Scorpius, and he was a member of an ancient group of Transformers known as the Covenant, who had been created by Unicron's enemy Primus, god of the Transformers, to counter Shockeract's rise to power. Under the alias of Sandstorm, Scorpius executed a complex plan, simultaneously posing as leader of the Resistance to gather allies, and as a servant of Shockeract to get close to the villain. Shockeract killed him after learning the truth during the final battle, but Scorpius' sacrifice granted his allies the opening they needed to destroy Shockeract and prevent the rebirth of Unicron. A new toy of this Sandstorm would later be released in 2022 in the Transformers Legacy toy line. Introduced in 2010's Hunt for the Decepticons line, the Sandstorm from the world of the live-action movies was the first to pay homage to the original, being an orange recolour of Autobot Dune Buggy Beachcomber. A second Movie Universe Sandstorm toy was released in 2011's Dark of the Moon line, the first since the original to be a brand new figure instead of a recolour of an existing one, which triple changed from Dune Buggy to Weapons Platform that could be manned by his human partner Private Deadcliff. A Transformers Prime incarnation of Sandstorm was briefly mentioned in the 2011 novel Exiles, as the pilot of the Star Seekers, a crew of space pirates made up of Transformers from Cybertron's lost colonies. The Star Seekers were initially intended to appear in the third season of the Prime cartoon, but that wound up never happening, and with all the different versions of Sandstorm there have been, we're left to wonder if this one would have been based on any of them, or been yet another whole new bot. As for the original Sandstorm, he's remained a fairly minor character in the 21st century, showing up mostly as a member of the Wreckers in the team's various appearances in new comic books. He did get a new toy in the Transformers Generations line in 2013, though it was just a recolour of Revenge of the Fallen Autobot Dune Buggy Dune Runner. However, a second Generations figure released in 2014 served as more of a true update to the classic toy an extensive retool and recolour of the Generation Springer figure, which triple changed into a dune buggy and a VTOL aircraft. It was in this form that Sandstorm appeared in his most prominent modern-day role, the 2014 IDW publishing comic book miniseries Transformers Punishment, which explored the question raised by Sandstorm's original profile of how he would cope with the end of the war. The series was a mystery thriller in which Sandstorm joined Optimus Prime in investigating a series of murders on post-war Cybertron, of both Autobots and Decepticons alike. At the climax, it was revealed that the killer was Sandstorm himself. A life lived in the pursuit of action and danger as a wrecker had left him haunted by all the terrible things he had seen, and he had begun eliminating Transformers who he believed had never faced justice for crimes they had committed during the war. After a few years in prison, future issues would see Sandstorm seek a new path, joining the Dinobots in caring for the next generation of newborn Transformer life, aiming to make a better future by protecting the innocent rather than punishing the guilty. Autobots, Decepticons, Wreckers, Predacons, Clones, Pirates, Good Guys, Bad Guys, Bad Guys pretending to be good guys, good guys pretending to be bad guys? The story of Sandstorm is a tricky one, but to paraphrase the original, now that I've helped clear up some of the confusion, it's time for me to clear out. And those are the basics on Sandstorm. A lot of different faces to go with the name, but which one's your favourite? Share it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more from the world of the Transformers, and you can get early access to new videos if you support the series on Patreon.